Okay, so now that we've set up the works or the work structure or the configuration, what we need to do is set up a workspace and a work set in for project wise. And the key thing here is is that you gotta set it up outside of project wise and then bring it into project wise and keep those items consistent or it tends to cause all kinds of havoc. So the thing I'm going to do now is I'm going to start MicroStation, connect, and since I've already set things back to the AEC out of the box, I'm seeing this local C PC, but now I'm going to set up my project-wise workspace. So I'm going to create a new workspace, and I'm going to call this one USACE uh, underscore PW. Now the key thing here to remember is, is that this workspace has to be created outside of ProjectWise to generate the DGNWS file and tag it appropriately. So uh, we're going to create this workspace and then we're going to, we're not going to create a work set here, but we're just going to exit out of MicroStation and create and uh, find that folder. So that thing is someplace here. I'm going to come down to my C drive and go to program data and go to AECWS and find my workspaces. And here's my USACE PW. And then there's work sets, but there's no work set in here. So I need to create one or copy one but I do not want to rename this thing. So my work set template is here under enterprise, uh, organization, enterprise templates, AEC workspace template, work sets. And since I'm going to be doing new work, all I really care about is getting the AEC work set template and the work set template folder in the DGNWS and the config. And I'm going to copy this. And I'm going to paste it into the work sets folder of my new AEC or USACE project wise workspace. Now that I have that copied in there, now I can go back to MicroStation and start generating what I need for project wise. So now that I have my USACE PW, I have my template, I can create a new work set. And this is going to be my uh, USACE underscore PW underscore, um, let's see, work set. How about that? Project. And I'm going to use my AEC template as the uh, starting point. At this point I can come in here and edit all of these properties just like I would be for a network project and then the next thing I want to do is close out of MicroStation and bring that into ProjectWise. So I'm going to find my USACE PW workset config and my USACE folder and I'm going to find a location of where I'm going to put this project. So maybe here under Civil Works, I got a new uh, new folder. Oops, got to come over here. New folder, and I'm going to call this thing um, USACE Projects. And what I can do there is I can drag these this workspace. Whoops, I need to I don't need this template anymore. Well, actually what I could do is I'm gonna create this USACE PW workspace because I need this information in here. So I'm gonna create a new folder under USACE projects or new work area. Yeah, a new folder. I can always upgrade it later. And this one has got to be the exact same name as the folder that you created on the network or things will not work. So I'm going to create that folder. Then I'm going to come in here and 
under my USACE projects, I'm going to grab this uh, USACE project wise or PW config and I'm going to drop it into the same location. And then I'm going to upgrade this to a work area. And I don't need to do anything right now to put all the information in that we would do here locally, but for now I'm just going to do it simple and just hit finish and just make sure it's a work area. And hit OK. And then I'm going to come into my USACE PW work area, create a new folder, new folder, and I'm going to call this work sets. Actually, that should have had an S on it. There we go. So that it matches what's in here. And then I'm going to, also in the PW area where I created that work sets, I'm going to copy in my standards folder with all the subdirectories. So that way I have all of the folders that project or that MicroStation will be looking for. And then my work sets folder, I'm going to copy in my new work set and DG DGNWS and config. So I bring all that information in, include subdirectories. And once I have this work set in place, I'm going to upgrade it to a work area. So what that has done to for me is I now have a place for my files. And I have, you know, the standard work structure. So I have my plan sets, and there's where my files will be located. Uh, I have a parent, I have a parent or a uh, DMS folder or project, which is here, and then I have a DMS parent project. And the DMS parent project has a configuration file, and the pro DMS project has a configuration file. So the next step is to export this DGNWS file out to the location that we set earlier for holding these uh, DGNWS files because managing them inside of ProjectWise gets a little bit hairy with, uh, with multiple users trying to access it and people not checking it in properly. So what we really want to do is do an export export so we can bring it back in later. So I'm going to hit next there and I'm going to output this thing to the location that we told it to store these on the network. So here is my projects DGNWS folder on my network where everybody has right access to it. And I'm going to hit next and one person has to manage this, so somebody will have to import this thing. Whoever exports it is going to have to import it. So that when you get that done, everything pretty well is set up for uh, working inside of ProjectWise.